this is Warsaw. And this. And this too. And as much as home is where gremlins are, and right now that's not here, this is where I come from. So let me show you a few places. Old town, said friend number one. Fine, I said, let's go. Ride or walk? Walk, definitely walk. But first, since you've got to start somewhere, let's start here, at the Bank Square. After the first Bank of Poland, right here, in this building. Ha, foxed you. Most of what you're about to see is a fake. This is what this part of the city looked like in 1945. And this was this. Just bear this in mind on this tour. After 1945, this was Dzierżyński Square. Because yes, the founding father of KGB was Polish, right old psychopath. Well, he stood here for some 50 years, but is now replaced with a poet, a uh, safely dusty one. He's very good actually, he should be read more. But let's get going. Actually, sorry, as much as I'd love to move on and you know, just look to the future, I can't. Polish people generally have this problem. So here is one of my favorite nooks, hidden inside this completely nondescript office building. This was the Bank of Poland after 1918. And these are the foundations of the Royal Mint from late 1700s. So how's this? Walk on history. And I really like how they incorporated the war scarred walls into the rest of that new office building. This mermaid is the crest of Warsaw and this is P and W combined into an anchor, the sign of the Polish resistance. Right, I really need to get a move on here, which is hard, very hard, because they all look so authentic. Would you believe that these tower foundations are the only thing left of the original building here? That, of course, looked the same as this one. I remember this as a massive car park. Restored. 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 Oh, new. Okay, finally we're in the old town. Rebuilt from scratch in the 1950s. This is my favorite street. Because of these, most were recovered from the rubble. Original bricks, stones and whatever they could find in the ruins were reused. I mean, just imagine it, like a giant city-wide jigsaw puzzle. You know, there's a house near here, one of the faked ones, with this inscription on it. The whole nation rebuilds its capital, which sure was communist fiddlesticks because very many people at the time didn't think it was necessary and a lot of it was forced labor, for example, as university students and therefore dangerous intellectual element. My parents cleaned some of those bricks two Saturdays a month or something it used to be, for free, of course. But today, when I stand and look at it, I can't help 
but admire the vision, the work and care and love it took to bring this back. So there, end of the soapy bit. And just in time because this is another friend's favorite place, the dancing fountains. Even in the 1930s, this was somewhere between suburb and a slum, where the local fishermen commemorated in this statue. Now it's a park with a nightly sound and light show in the summer. Sadly, I'm just a day late for it. But even in the daylight, they dance. Under the eye of Mr. William Lindley, the author, of Warsaw's water and sewerage system, largely still in use. Cool bench, Mr. Lindley. From here, oh, there's the mermaid again. You can go left along the river on the new boulevards, many people's favorite place in the summer. But I shall turn right. Trust me to be different. Here, with the core of the old town hanging above your head and all the standard tours up there, is where people live in those wonderful houses that may be five floors high, but you still enter through the attic. And also where 70 odd years after the reconstruction, the old town feels old. At the end, you have to take this passage, not great for hills, to come out at the back of the cathedral. Here. This was never locked. Slalom between the tourists. Don't do it, guys, don't do it! There's the mermaid again, for a church door. She's shiny in <clears throat> wrong places. I adored this as a child, she's so pretty! Right, this is the royal castle, and I remember this being a construction site, first time round. The castle is a fate, but this is not. King Sigismundus III, he moved the capital from Krakow to Warsaw, for which he got this column in Warsaw and eternal disdain in Krakow. The column had to be remade, but the figure is the 1644 original. A Saxon king of Poland gifted it to Peter I of Russia. But Peter had no way of taking it to St. Petersburg. Lucky escape, Sigismundus. All the standard tourists will take you here, but they never stop. So let's, let's just stop a minute and enjoy the detail. This is the presidential palace, and this is Prince Józef Poniatowski. He was a socialite and a good-for-nothing, sort of a Polish Bull Brummel. But then he got himself killed in the Battle of Nations fighting for Bonaparte, which, until this day, makes him a national hero. Poles do appreciate a glorious failure. This is the Warsaw University, and this is a demonstration in support of the protests in Iran. Anybody dizzy yet? Well, from here, again, you can go right or left. If you go right, it will take you to what remains of the Saxon palace, fourth of this name, I understand, and the ugliest of them all. This is the Polish shrine of the unknown soldier. 
with eternal flame and change of guards every hour. But every tour will take you there. As it will to the Saxon park that lies beyond. What they won't show you are the gaps still there, 75 years on, or this wonderfully decaying palace. Also a fake that used to house the Warsaw Transportation Authority, so you'd have to come here to buy your season's passes, which was a bit of a chicken and egg situation, because you needed a public transportation pass to get here in the first place, private cars or petrol not being easy to come by back then. I do hope someone will restore it again. I remember this being a restaurant. In fact, we had our rehearsal dinner here. I do hope it's not some sort of an omen. Alright, uh, let's go back and left then. This is a really good museum and they have Niedenthal today, but we must go on. This is a bit unfortunate, but look, a hermitage steps away from one of the busiest streets in Warsaw. So down we go and here is another favorite place by a few people. I think this was the first viaduct in Warsaw. Oh no, not another wedding. So, whee! Round and down, past the grumpy fish, under the mermaid. And here, here, if I had to name one place in Warsaw, this is it. The Warsaw University Library and the Faculty of Law, my alma mater with its amazing rooftop garden. I love everything about it. The colors, any time of the year. How it has nooks and corners. This view of the city century skyline I don't love the fact that these days you have to queue for this viewing spot. Oh well, what can you do? It's been discovered. So, if you please follow me through the library building. Here is everything, including book dispensers. These were in here in my day. I do love that post-industrial style. And it goes great with this converted power plant just around the corner. I said it before, I'll say it again. I remember this standing empty and derelict. Even worse, I remember it as an operational plant. Just about remember. Well, this is all new to me. Wasn't here when we moved out. I'm going to have to come back. And so we get to the river. And the mother of all Warsaw mermaids. Here since 1939. Actually, it's not the oldest one, but the best known. Frankly, I'm not a fan, I've always thought she's a bit podgy, but I guess by now you can't argue with tradition. A quick glance at the boulevards. You're not gonna run out of balloons in this city. And it's time to cross to the other bank. What? Your feet ache? Well, so do mine. No softball. Oh, your ears do. Alright then, I'll show you next time. Well, I'm going if you're not.
gremlin on the road. <laughs>